We see a lot of action, a lot of body movement, a lot of flying around the ring. This should be a far greater spectacle with the um, light heavyweights. Uh, they have, seem to have more ground to cover. That's right, Paul. These guys can really move, even though they're smaller than the, the bigger guys, which we'll see later on in the night. They sure pack some power in their small frames, and they fly around that ring. They certainly do, and uh, moving in now, twisting that wrist around. Uh, Ken Dunlop, of course, but the one that's on. Yes, Paul, Ken's been around for a fair while. He's got a lot of experience for him in that mind, and he knows all the tricks in the book, whereas Kenny Dunlop, he's coming up through the ranks, and he's going to make a name for himself in professional wrestling. Working very strong on that uh, wrist there, turning it around. Uh, they're very fit, these wrestlers, aren't they? Uh, a lot of people have asked me, um, you know, the time that they put in. That's right, Paul. Uh, in preparation and the, uh, the physical uh, contribution through the week. That's right, Paul. They work those gyms and when Exactly right. They work out very hard in the gym. And it all culminates on nice lights and all where they have to sweat it out in there. And a lot of, lot of work has to go in for those guys to be fit enough to get in there. There he goes into the ring. Oh, impressive. Uh, very securely there. As uh, Nedlin comes in, he's calling for the crowd to uh, support him for what he's doing, but the crowd don't like him, do they? Not really, Kenny. Nedlin's always been that way. The crowd seem to go against him all the time. This makes it very hard for Dunlop here because when the uh, wrestler is on top like that, they apply pressure in other limbs of the body and uh, they certainly know uh, what it's about. That's why I called the chin middle under the chin, twice pressing not only the chin and neck, but also the wrong way around. Oh, well, he's there by uh, the face, and I think the referee is right onto that one. This is uh, referee Ferrari. That's right, Vic Ferrari, one of the new referees in the Australian wrestling race. Well, a bit more experience, he'll be turned out to be a top referee. on that occasion. Now the referee is speaking to Medlin there saying look the point of the elbow, watch it. There's an arm whipping at the rope. Medlin's very clever though, he's been around at this for a long time. That's right Paul, he knows all the tricks. Bigger poor arm lock it appears. Applying some pressure on other parts of the body too. One, one, one. Trying to pin him. One, one, one. Got two there. One, two, Count starts again but Dunlop very clever, goes for the ropes. Good work Dunlop. Crowd applauding and uh, Medlin thought he had him in. There's a forearm jolt to the chin. Now the referee's speaking to him because they're going to open the hand. Exactly right. They open that hand when they connect. Now look, he should back off there. Come on. He's going to the right. He's going to Stop. Now come on. You can't use the ropes. In that fashion. Headbutt. Slams him over again. He's going to the top of the strands again. Now, 
of um, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, Paul, exactly right. It's an elbow to the back, and uh, now that was unfair because he did that, but he was over the other side of the ropes. Surely you know the rules. Oh, referee, get onto this. Give him a chance. That was close, Kenny Medlin getting down to his old tactics, but he's underestimated Kenny Dunlop. He might be not as experienced as Kenny Medlin, but Ken Dunlop sure knows. He's learning very quickly. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Uh, when you're in the ring with Ken Medlin, you certainly know about it, don't you? Exactly right. You've got to be thinking and watching all the time. and dislike because he's always pulling for the crowd for their approval one way or another. He seems to thrive on you and a lot of the times the more the crowd scream the more dirty can you win fights. The knee to the back there and uh, he appears to be um, getting into a softening up process. Uh, a lot of the rest of this fight they work on them gradually to the point where uh, it becomes rather hard for the opponent, and, the, and Dunlop is taking a, quite a bit of punishment at the hands of Medlin. Now, come on, open that hand! If you're going to come out with a blow, it's got to be with the open hand. The point of the elbow there. By Joe, if he keeps that up, I tell you, it could be, a, could be on a disqualification, Gene. Got to watch him That hurt. That was very well done by Dunlop. Yeah. 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 Listen to the crowd roar. Dunlop comes again with a chin lock. Picks him up into a full body slam. And down he goes. This time, moving and he's got it. Almost over the ropes. Oh! By Jovi. I think he's hit, the, he's hit the floor, but I think he's just taken that second for a breather. That's Kenny Middler's tactics. Once he's outside, he'll, he'll think of a new plan of attack. Oh. These uh, illegal tactics applied by Medlin. Uh, that have got these sort of things and need to get away with them. Sooner or later, catches up with them just like them. Because Dunlop, he can handle a fellow like Medlin. If you ask him to come up again, exactly right, Kenny Dunlop might be young, but he's got quite a he really knows how to move, use the ring and all the holes to his best advantage. Somersault in midair. Stomps to the uh, hand. The referee is uh, speaking to uh, Medlin saying, listen, if you're going to adopt illegal tactics, get him off the ropes. Hold the spot up. of his type should know you never turn your back in a match like this that allows Dunlop to come back. Coming in using the elbow he believes to be legal. Kenny Dunlop can take it but when he has to he really dish it out. There's a front headlock flied by uh, Dunlop. Increasing the pressure on it too, uh, Gene. That's right. But now, uh, this is interesting because notice the strength of Medlin there without a turn that around. That, that comes from all the work he put in in the gym during the week. He was had sheer determination in his face then, Medlin. 
Now you can't take Midland lightly. Midland's been around long enough. And he, he knows wrestling. To say, all the wrestlers here, they put in many hours in the gymnasium to maintain their fitness and their stamina. That's exactly right, Paul. Now, guys, we've really got to work at it hard. It's not only what you see here in the ring and match, but the hours in the gym, the running, the getting up early and going to bed late of all that hard training that they've got to do to be the tops in their profession. One, it looked uh, like a fall of a pile driver. It was, seemed to be a pile driver. Over for the slam. Oh, he nearly got the three count. But what a recovery. At the 10 minute mark. He got the two again. But Dunlop is not to be denied. Hey, Kenny Dunlop won't give up. He's always going to try as hard as he can. I bet you that. Right? Wouldn't like that to happen to me. Well, Kenny Dunlop. He's got the crowd on his side. One, two, only the count of two. Well, I say they get a lot of power when they come off the ropes, don't they? Yeah, they, really, they really do, Paul. They use those ropes for leverage and the best of their advantage. And they fly across, and when they land, you've got about... Say 85 kilos landing plus all the power coming in through the air. That really hurts. Takes a lot out of you. Oh, this could be it. He did that so quickly. It almost took Medlin by surprise, but cunning as Medlin as always, up again. Double knee lift to the chin. You never underestimate Kenny Medlin. When you think you've got him, that's when he'll come back with a new plan of action. The referee's doing a great job. He's uh, not letting them get away with much, is he? That's right. Big Ferrari, he's going to be a great referee. He's shown what he can do. He can handle the best of them. A bit more experience, he'll be up there with the top. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at the moment we're seeing the battle of the light heavyweights between Ken Medlin on the inside of the ropes. Ken Dunlop getting back in. Yeah! Oh, he's playing for it! But came off second best. He tried for it to slam him down. But he managed to uh, get up again. This is Medlin in for the... Wait a minute. Hang on. Put over the ropes. The referee's doing a great job there because a lot of, a lot of wrestlers try and put that foot over the rope to uh, while the referee's not looking. That's why Paul, these, these type of wrestlers such as Kenny Medlin, they want to win and they want to do anything they can to win. And the referee's got the hardest of the lot, keeping his eyes open. And he's got a watch just about have ice in the back of his head. Ken Medlin moving into the softening up, but you never know uh, how this is going to go because they've got uh, great recuperative powers, these wrestlers, all wrestlers have because of the, the work they put in. They're really fit. Ken Medlin uh, has certainly been around a long time. I can remember him uh, at the time I was connected with wrestling uh, 15, 20 years ago. He was a little bit lighter then. Seems to have put on a little bit over the years, but he's kept it in pretty good condition this season. He's in good shape. Crowd, of course, remonstrating. They're not too happy about the uh, tactics that he's adopting. They seem to uh, do this within the uh, bounds of the rules. And, uh, it's quite legitimate that they get uh, caught out on account. They're gone. That went on there could be a kid. No. Well, you know, I thought he could have taken that then, but he wanted to pick him up and give him more punishment. He seems Kenny Miller has been a few times. He thought, I thought he could have taken on that one, but he seems to be lifting him up. Well, uh, more punishment on the pin, though. It's either... He's more confident or what, I don't know, but you can never tell it. Dunlop, Dunlop could turn the table. But watch this! Oh! Big applause! Red scissors! Beautifully at the 
executed by Kenny Dunlop. Now, there you are. That's what happened. That's, a, that's right, Paul. Kenny Dunlop knows what it's about. He knows what he's got to do. And when it, when, it, when it looks down and just about out, that's when they get that extra little bit of strength and they come back with something right out of the books. All right, let's look at the action at the 15-minute mark. Ken Medlin is uh, the one in red and Ken Dunlop in green fronts. With uh, Dunlop applying pressure here and doing it well. He's asking for submission if he wants to give up. Uh, but um, I know Dunlop from way back. Dunlop uh, is not going to give in too easy. It's still in there and uh, you see the grimace on uh, Dunlop's face there. It, uh, he knows it's hard work to work on Medlin, but he's doing it well, isn't he, Gene? Exactly right. He was trying it all on Ken Medlin. And then a lot more experience. Just when Ken Medlin, Ken Medlin's so cagey, just when you think you've got him, that's when you've got to be careful of him. Comments there by Gene Martin, the ring announcer. That's how you get cauliflower ears. That's what Jack Little used to tell me years ago, and it's true too. That must really hurt when you execute that one. Exactly right. Midland's coming back with a couple of chops to the midsection. Oh! Stops with the hand. They're going for the wrist now. Who's going to get the advantage here? This is interesting. Midland on his feet. Bit of power there, Gene. Yes, that's right, Kenny Medlin. He might have put on a bit of weight over the years, but he's still got that muscle power in him. This is going to be very, very interesting, uh, Gene. Uh, who's going to uh, get advantage here? They're applying great pressure on each other here. Kenny Medlin seems to have the advantage now. A smile on his face. Dunlop appears to be getting on top on this uh, occasion. Now, what's going on here now? We find Dunlop's foot on the hands of Medlin. What does he hope to achieve here? Oh, Medlin quickly back in. Could be pinned here. How did he do that? Beautiful move by Ken Dunlop. Barely oh, a wriggle across the floor. He'll go for it again, I think. No. Only the count of two. Really working hard. These guys for with you love them. They've got a lot of respect for them. The hours and the time they put in. And well, we find now it's uh, Dunlop out on the floor. Medlin, I think, is going to uh, pursue him on the floor. No, he's on the apron. The count is on. Now, the count is normally on the floor. 